Hey there, it's Michael Does Life, and welcome to my Just Cause 4 review. I am reviewing the PC version of Just Cause 4, and a review code was supplied by the publisher. With that said, let's go ahead and just jump right into it, folks. I think this game is a lot of fun, and let me tell you why. I love the new additions here in Just Cause 4. I love the addition of extreme weather. For example, the tornado. It's one of the most fascinating things that I've ever seen in a video game before. And I love the unpredictable nature of this absolutely insane force of Mother Nature. You know what I mean? The tornado is a really special thing here and a great, great welcome addition to Just Cause 4. It's ensure to absolutely cause as much carnage and mayhem and destruction as possible. And again, it's such a welcoming feature here in Just Cause 4, the addition of extreme weather and, of course, the tornado. What's also really cool here in Just Cause 4 is that they've added in balloons. Now here in Just Cause 4, with the addition of balloons, you can really go freaking wild, you know? The sky is the limit on what you can do here in Just Cause 4 because you have all of these tethering options, you have the thrusters, you have the balloons, and not only that, but you can go in and modify all of these things. Select their speed, you know, this, that, and the other. It's a concoction that's just going to guarantee fun. And as for missions here in Just Cause 4, I'd say there's much more variety to the missions here in Just Cause 4 as opposed to Just Cause 3 where it was sort of like, hey, go from point A to point B, blow some stuff up. And look, I'm not necessarily saying there's anything wrong with that. I really do enjoy blowing things up here in these Just Cause games. But this time around here in Just Cause 4, the missions are more varied in terms of what you're doing, which is a great addition. There's also side activities like there were in Just Cause 3 where you kind of have to do some races with the cars. Uh, or go through this little ring real quick with your wingsuit. You know, stuff like that returns here in Just Cause 4, as you probably would expect. Another cool thing that I think is new here in Just Cause 4 is that the world sort of reacts to what you're doing. So if you complete a bunch of missions, you kind of take over this little territory here. You know, there's going to be like wars throughout the world. Uh, and that's uh, a neat little feature to kind of help sell the immersion on like this is actually happening and, you know. That sort of thing. And really the last thing that I want to highlight here in today's video in terms of positive things going for Just Cause 4 is the map. I think this is one of the best maps ever in a Just Cause game. And the reason why I say that is because the map is so varied. There's a lot of variety to the map. The map has a lot of different distinct areas. For example, you have a snow area. You have a desert area. You have a jungle area. You have a city area. It's really memorable. And I think the map is, again, one of the best maps ever in the Just Cause franchise. Now let's talk about some things that I thought could have been improved upon here in Just Cause 4. And this is a small little detail, but the start screen isn't nearly as impressive as it was in Just Cause 3. So here's what the start screen looked like in Just Cause 3, and here's what it looks like in Just Cause 4. Yeah, I know it's a small thing to kind of nitpick, but you know, it is what it is. Another change I'm not too keen on is that they, seemingly anyway, have removed grenades here in Just Cause 4, and I can't help but wonder why would you remove grenades that makes absolutely no sense to me I mean that really does not make sense to me so that's one thing to note that seemingly anyway Just Cause 4 does not have grenades which is rather odd and last but not least the game has some pop-in issues even on the PC version at maxed out settings but I will say that the performance overall is much better than it was in Just Cause 3 which is a major major plus so overall with all of that said and I know we didn't highlight everything here in this little review of Just Cause 4 but overall with all of that said I think Just Cause 4 is a ton of fun and with that said I give it an 8 out of 10 Just Cause 4 an 8 out of 10 I'd say it's one of the best and reason the Just Cause franchise yet. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this review, this look at Just Cause 4, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching. Take care.